Hey, it's Jimmy from Panther U. I just wanted to talk about today's developments regarding the Horizon League tournament. It looks like the Klatchy Center is going to be the venue that Milwaukee plays in. Um, the possibility of the Panthers playing a road game in the first round of the conference tournament is there. Uh, Wright State currently in seventh place at seven and eight. Milwaukee's at eight and seven. So we're only a game up, but both of us have several games remaining. Um, Milwaukee actually wouldn't own a tiebreaker by beating the first place team because Wright State also beat Valpo. Um, the difference is they beat them at home, whereas Milwaukee had to do it on the road. Um, the Panthers have a scheduling conflict. Obviously, it's well publicized through this website, the journal. Um, we've been all over talking about how um, if Milwaukee had hosted the conference tournament, the quarters and semifinals would have to be elsewhere other than the U.S. Cellular Arena. And um, because of Disney on ice and the wonderful scheduling conflict that that brought about. Well, as it turns out, Disney on ice will also be there Tuesday, which is the first day of the conference tournament, the 28th of February. Now, it's not because... Um, it's not because they're hosting a, an event on that day. It's because they're laying down the ice and they need something like 48 hours before they set that up. So the Panthers got a waiver today, which the athletic department announced. Costello sent me an email. Let me know. Um, they got a waiver from the Horizon League to play the first round game at the Klatchy Center. Um, it might be surprising to some, but it's the first time the conference tournament would ever be hosted at the Klatchy Center uh, on campus at UWM since before Milwaukee played at the Cell, uh, the conference tournament was at a rotating venue within the conference. Um, played at the UIC Pavilion at the Wolstein Center. Uh, in fact, the, la the 2003 year was the last year of that rotating venue, which is why the two seed Milwaukee got the host, got to host number one seed Butler in the championship game which, as you know, led to the team's first appearance in the NCAA tournament. Um, I think that this provides a unique uh, opportunity. Um, having a, a, a game against Western Michigan or Carroll or Parkside on campus is one thing. Nebraska, Omaha. I mean, that's one thing. Having a conference rival, which will likely be the case, whether it's Wright State, Loyola, UIC, Green Bay, I mean, those are the four teams that would be at the bottom if Milwaukee were to host. All four of them are actual rivals of Milwaukee. So you're hosting a conference rival. You are on campus for the first time seemingly um, ever, actually ever in the conference tournament. And it provides this... Um, very unique chance to uh, show people what the on-campus experience really could be if they decide to if they if they decide that that space of the Kalachi Center is where they want to build the arena. Um, if you're familiar with what I know, what I like, you know that I'm uh, more for purchasing the Wisconsin Paperboard Corporation space down on Cambridge off of North Avenue and renovating that as per Joe Rice's thesis that I um, that I discussed in the uh, in the article Arena Design Leaked question mark uh, if you wanna read it go search it on PantherU.com um, I'm for that site but it looks like uh, the athletic department is leaning towards keeping the uh, building the new facility on the space that is currently occupied by the Norris Health Center, kind of towards the southern end of the current Klatchy Arena. So obviously, games in the future, if they decide to go with that space, uh, games in the future would be played there in that space. And this would be a unique opportunity for the program to really flex its muscles in marketing and really show everybody what it could be if they decide to make that space, you know, the, the home of the on-campus arena. Um, you're talking about a 3,500-seat 3, facility at best. 
standing room only, they might get like 3,800. You're talking about a lot, uh, not a lot of people in a very small space. So if they can come anywhere close to packing it, you're talking about a real pit. I mean, <laughs> I mean worthy of New Mexico's actual pit. I mean, it's, it's a home court advantage that I don't think Wright State, UIC, Loyola, or Green Bay would ever in a million years want to walk into. And uh, it all depends on how they market it. Uh, Saturday night, well, it, Saturday afternoon, the 26th, they play Loyola, or the, 20, the 25th, they play Loyola. So by 5 o'clock Saturday evening, they should know if they're going to be hosting that Tuesday, which gives them all day Sunday and all day Monday to market it with players and all, all day Tuesday leading up to it to market it to students, you know, uh, as, as the athletic department. So you have two and a half days really to push and get people to go to this game. Um, being the, the end of February, beginning of March, there may be midterms or something going on, but it's really not a busy, busy, busy time for students. Um, especially when you have 2,100 of them living in the towers right next door. Um, I don't think that a small attendance would necessarily hurt the uh, chances of the facility because obviously the, the, the reason the facility is taking so long to come out and finally um, uh, be released is that um, they don't want to build a you know, small, decrepit gym like the Klotchy Center is. So I don't think it would hurt if they, or there was a small, um, I don't think it would hurt the arena's chances if there was a small uh, envir a, a small attendance. But if they pack the place, I think they can win over a lot of donors that are currently apprehensive about leaving downtown for the campus environment. I mean, obviously, there are a lot of things that need to be addressed, but the possibility of playing a the conference tournament at this facility is a is, is it's an intriguing idea and they should throw everything they've got behind this because it is the last men's basketball game of the season that they can market i mean unless one of the 7 to 10 seeds that Milwaukee doesn't play goes all the way to the championship game uh, it will not be. It will. It will be the last home game for Milwaukee. So, what we're looking at is uh, a real opportunity to show the fan base what an on-campus arena could be as far as the game atmosphere itself. Um, I think that they need to uh, really push uh, marketing in the area around the dorms. In the bottom, the bottom floor and third floor of the dorms. The third floor is where the cafeteria and all that stuff is of Sandberg Hall. Uh, obviously, they need to have a whole bunch of stuff on the sidewalks outside. They need to have pounce basically walking around all day Sunday, all day Monday, all day Tuesday, trying to get people to uh, go to the game. Uh, you really sell the fact that this is the first time the camp, the conference tournament has ever been played on campus. Um, we had such a wonderful turnout last year for the semifinal against Velpo and a sellout easily for the championship game against Butler. But those were both downtown games. I mean, it, it, you can see the potential of Milwaukee's fan base in those games, but uh, you obviously don't see the potential of the on-campus arena because it's the downtown arena that they're looking to get away from. So... I think what they really need to do is really push that game as hard as they pushed for the tournament championship last season when you had 3,000 students show up for the championship game. I think you really push it and get as many, pe as many people, especially students, in there as possible because you can turn that place into an absolute pit. I mean... Uh, the Kalachi Center full is such a loud venue. I mean, it's an extremely loud venue. And it, 
it would it would do nothing but buoy the program as they as they try and win this pivotal game to get to Valpo or Cleveland or wherever the conference championship the conference semifinals quarterfinals would be. So I guess that's what what we're, what I'm looking for is for the marketing department of UWM to really slam it home. And I mean if you I mean, if you were at the championship game last year, you know the potential that LeVar Ridgeway's department has. Um, they don't get the resources that they really need to uh, pack the place. But for one game, I, I think they've got a real opportunity. They've got a real chance to do it. So um, if you're on campus, if you're free, you know, talk to your friends, tell your friends, and get them out there for that game. Uh, if you're available to help market, like hand out flyers or do anything that they could use help for, um, lridge at uwm.edu. That's Lavar's email. I'm sure that he'd be uh, he would love to have the help. So um, let's 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 see what could happen.